bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. And welcome back to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Steve Swat. My guest this segment is Roger Nilo, a member of the State Assembly representing Fair Oaks and other parts. Thank you for Dr. being with Mary, us. Good to be here. Um, you were on this program once before and you talked about this trip that a, a number of Republicans made to the state of Nevada, which of course would like California's business and is advertising to the tune of a million and a half dollars a year to get California businesses to move to Nevada. And you, you know, they talked about how burdensome regulations in California are, are forcing California businesses out of state. And at the time, a lot of people thought and said this was really anecdotal. But now you've, you've, you've got some hard numbers from, well, from a recent re report. Yeah, either yeah. fortunately or unfortunately, mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, some real information to work with that uh, kind of proves the case. And so it's ammunition for other states, but it's, it's, it's information for us. Um, a report uh, uh, done by uh, uh, Sanjay Varshne, the dean of the Sac State Business School, uh, estimates that regulation costs small business in this state almost $500 billion a year. Now that is, to make it sensical, a third of our gross state product on an average basis about 90 percent of the median household income and represents uh, an abandoned uh, tax take for the state actually of about 16 billion dollars a year. It's remarkable. I think it also, the report also said something like 3.8 million jobs have been lost. That's correct. Yeah. Uh, critics would say, or others would say, that one man's uh, burdensome regulation is another man's or person's uh, consumer protection. Well, of course. Of course. We do these things to protect with good intentions and frankly it's, it's all too easy because when we're considering these things we really think of the big businesses and, uh, and, and it's, it's easy to give untoward motivations to the Walmarts and the Enrons or for some people it is, but over 90 percent of the business activity in this state, the employment in this state is done by small businesses. Uh, we're casting out tuna nets and we're catching a bunch of dolphins. Um, we're protecting ourselves to death. Mm -hmm. I mean, how, do you, how would you start to go about you know, fixing all this? I mean, there are mounds and mounds of regulations and a lot of the regulations are good. I mean, whether it's, I mean, a lot of people, you know, whether it's minimum wage or you know, protection against elder abuse or workplace conditions or as uh, Daryl Steinberg, the Senate President pro tem of the Senate said, protecting kids from asthma. I mean, a lot of these regulations are important. And, and those things all sound very good and I'm not here uh, to question them nor am I suggesting we eliminate regulations. But there isn't anybody that can take any one of those regulations and say, okay, here's the benefit and here's what it costs. That's really all the report begs, is that we have some cost-benefit discipline uh, in the way that we produce uh, regulations. And, you know, would it make sense to involve small businesses when we design regulations, when we establish them? A bill authored by um, Senator Rod Wright, which I have co-authored and a number of others have, would demand just that. Um, we should probably sunset regulations so we have to justify them when they're um, renewed. Uh, it probably would be a good, a, a good idea to do away with the, the perverse system of allowing the agencies that impose fines to be able to keep them themselves. Have that go to the general fund. There are many things that we can do to still provide the protections but justify them and make sure that they're justified on an ongoing basis. Of course the regulators are such an entrenched bureaucracy in California making progress is going to be difficult, wouldn't you think? Well, uh, the uh, status, the uh, forces of the status quo always uh, resist change. Uh, but when it costs $500 billion a year, um, I think we ought to slow down and say, now, wait a minute, does this really make sense? All right. Well, Roger Nilo, member of the State Assembly from Fair Oaks, thanks for coming in and talking about this uh, very topical issue and very interesting issue. Thank, Thank you. you. And thanks to our viewers for watching Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Steve Swat. We'll see you next time.